When you first start needing to wear diapers to work or school, it can be really scary and intimidating. So in today's video, we're gonna go over some tips that'll help you out. And the first tip is to never leave your house without a change. If you do that and you need to change, you're gonna end up in the very situation that we're trying to avoid to begin with. So try not to forget to change, always pack that. Personally, I recommend using a book bag, that's what I use. And it's pretty common for any adult to be carrying around a book bag, a purse, any kind of bag. That's something you should be able to get away with rather easily without feeling too self-conscious about. The other thing I would recommend is if you're still really self-conscious and concerned about leaks or about anything being visible, uh, wearing darker clothing can really help with that. That way if you do have any leaks, they'll be rather difficult to see. Sometimes darker clothing can really help conceal some of the more bulkiness around the midsection you might be feeling. It may or may not be visible. Now with that covered, let's go ahead and go out into the world. Wearing diapers out with confidence is a matter of a few different things. One, it's a matter of knowing that you have protection on that's going to do what it's supposed to do and keep you from embarrassing yourself. Two, it's a matter of knowing where to go to change. So if you work in an office building, I've worked in a lot of different office buildings over the years, and pretty much all office buildings have a private bathroom where you can go to take care of business if you're feeling too uncomfortable to do that in a more open public restroom. Definitely understand it feels a little cringe with the crinkles and the tapes coming undone in a public bathroom. So personally, I, I usually like to look for a private bathroom whenever I can. There's a number of different places that are good for that. Things like 7-Eleven, Starbucks, Walgreens. There's, there's various different places where you can go to find the privacy that you need if you don't have it in your office building. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So here we are in a Starbucks bathroom. Another good thing to a private bathroom is the space you have to move around in. And basically how I change standing up is I just use a wall. Like this. You need a wall like this. You gotta be careful not to set that thing off, but there's other walls in here you could be using. So that's another reason to use a private restroom. You have enough space to move around in and do what you need to do. Got my Starbucks. We're out of that bathroom. Hopefully that audio is audible because I was talking quietly and there was somebody right outside of the door. Not that it matters, not like I knew them. Who cares, right? That's the kind of thing you gotta learn to just not really care about. I understand when it's like coworkers and stuff, but that's why I recommend if you are working in a place where you're feeling self-conscious about changing out work and you're feeling like maybe your coworkers might hear or they might find out, it's always good to maybe go to like the closest 7-Eleven or the closest store has a private bathroom while you're on your lunch break, if that's at all manageable or possible. Luckily enough, I've always worked at places where that was an option. These days, I do content creation, I'm an artist, I do a lot of different things to make my money online, so I'm not working in an office building like I used to, but whether you're working in an office building or you go to college or school, uh, you should have access to some sort of private bathroom available. Let's do a quick recap. I just wanna make sure I covered everything I wanted to cover in this video. First, always bring a change in wipes with you whenever you leave the house. For basically anything longer than a two, two hour period is my standard. If I'm gonna be leaving the house more than two or three hours, I'd rather bring a change with me and be prepared just in case. If you have a car, like I do now, you can always keep a stash in your car. The other thing as well, on the note of bringing the bag with you and being prepared for a change, don't wait too long. Because if you wait too long, you run the risk of springing a leak and then you feel embarrassed and ashamed and self-conscious. Whether people can see the leak or not, you feel self-conscious about it and it makes you act a little bit more funny, a little bit, makes you just feel less comfortable being out while wearing a diaper. In my previous video on this topic years ago, I did mention uh, if you're self-conscious about odors or something like that, it could be a good idea to wear a cologne or perfume. I used to do that back in the day. These days, I don't really worry about it that much as I've never had anybody tell me that I smell like urine or anything like that. Obviously, if you have bowel incontinence and you have bowel accidents, that's gonna be a whole different story, whole different ball game. But if that's not typically an issue for you, uh, then, then I wouldn't worry too much about it because most adult diapers these days are designed to neutralize the odor. And it's not generally a problem unless you're like, I don't know, eating a lot of asparagus or something like that. You do happen to spring a leak at some point it is never as bad as it feels. You always feel like this it's this huge spot that everybody can notice and everybody can see. But then when you finally make it to the bathroom and change and you actually take a look, it's like this little tiny wet spot 
that it's unlikely anybody would have noticed. Rest assured that most people are in their own head are in their own world and they're not really looking at that kind of stuff or even at work, they're usually consumed with work and distracted with stuff like that. I used to work in an office building where everybody was taking phone calls, there's a big open floor plan and there was a number of times where I leaked and I had to walk across the floor feeling so self-conscious about it but then I get to the bathroom and I realize like, oh, that's a tiny spot that probably nobody noticed. Okay, and my last and final tip is to make sure you wear what's comfortable for you. So if that's something that's like tight fitting jeans and a thinner product that gives you the protection you need, maybe you only have stress incontinence and you pee a little bit when you sneeze, you just need some minor protection to prevent from getting wet spots, hey, wear what's comfortable for you and right for you. If you want some more tips on wearing what's comfortable for you and having confidence when going out wearing adult diapers, check out this video right here. And until next time, stay dry.